Hi, I'm Alison McCaig, World Spreads Market Analyst, and I'd like to talk to you today, Monday the 6th of June, about LinkedIn. On a previous posting I made on Thursday the 19th of June, the first day of trading for the newly quoted LinkedIn, I noted that the share price had shot up to $100 a share. It had gone up later on in that day to a high of $122.69. And I'd ask the question, was this too high? The IPO price, that's the initial placing offer price, at $45 a share was 19 times earnings per share as a ratio. LinkedIn price now is trading at $77.5, which equates to 32 times the EPS. LinkedIn has two main forms of generating an income. The first is by advertising, and the second is by subscription. Both of these at this point in time seem a little bit too small to really warrant a 32 times earning ratio. However, there are many out there who believe that there are considerably higher levels for the likes of LinkedIn to reach. My problems that I have with LinkedIn? Well, firstly, there's no barrier to entry. It's an internet website and therefore anyone else can create another competing website. It normally takes some time for the market to settle on what it deems to be the fair value. Trying to factor in exactly how much blue sky should be attributed to any new IPO is not easy. A market normally likes to see at least one set of quarterly or biannual figures before it really has the ability to assess how a company is doing. This is obviously a share price we're going to watch closely here and you're still able to trade it with World Spreads Market Platform. Many thanks.